my lab we've been working on tissue engineering of both blood vessels and lungs for the past uh, six years that I've been here. Um, our goal is to take cells from the patient or from a cell donor and use those cells to grow brand new tissues in the lab that, that can function after they're implanted. In addition to being a bioengineer, I'm also an anesthesiologist. My specialty is working in the intensive care unit, taking care of patients who have severe disease. A lot of my patients have vascular disease or lung disease, where their blood vessels or their lungs really don't work very well. My goal in doing the work that we're doing is to de develop techniques so that we can grow new tissue replacements for patients with severe disease. I first got interested in trying to grow new tissues when I was working in my anesthesia residency in Boston uh, in the early 1990s. Um, I was encountering patients that had terrible uh, vascular disease and had no way of replacing or repairing their damaged arteries. These patients suffer heart attacks, uh, suffer problems with their limbs and, and other organ problems. And so I became really interested in trying to harness what we know about how new blood vessels grow, trying to harness that information and use it in the laboratory so we could make new blood vessels for patients. I got interested in tissue engineering because it's really a combination of a lot of different areas of science and medicine. So for example, if you want to grow a new tissue in the lab, you have to understand about biology and medicine and disease, but you also have to understand about physical principles and, and engineering and mathematics in some cases. Um, my scientific training as I was coming through college and graduate school was pretty broad, and so I had a lot of training in these multiple different areas. What's exciting about tissue engineering is I'm able to pull all those areas together in a way that can create new therapies one day for patients. I think for anyone who's involved in medical research, the hope is that the things that you develop or learn will one day help patients, and that's my goal too. Uh, I would hope that one day our engineered blood vessels can be implanted into patients. Um, in fact, we have a clinical trial that's being planned um, overseas that we hope will be begin in the next six months or so. Um, with the lung work, I also hope that one day these engineered lungs may be able to help patients with severe lung disease, although I think that's probably decades away.